All right, folks, stop the press. Hold for an important announcement because we've got something to talk about here. So last summer, I posted a video after finding something out very important because I got a lot of questions from people saying, Mike, why isn't my hydrangea blooming? So I did a ton of research on it and I figured out exactly why your hydrangea wasn't blooming. If you haven't seen that video yet, click the link up here or down in the description below. But now here we are a year later and over the past year, I've got many people saying, many, many people, Mike, I've discovered the problem just based on this video. Thank you so much. But I've continued to get one more question coming along from people that has gone unanswered until now. And that question is the same exact question. Mike, my problem isn't the problem you said in that video, and I'm still not getting blooms. What's my problem? And I got a bunch of you asking me that and saying, hey, this thing did bloom for years. I know it can bloom in my zone. I know I've got the right blooming hydrangea from my environment. It's still not blooming. Come on, man. What's the problem? I want to know. So I got a question again about this this morning, and I thought, I'm going to read this question to you because this is basically what I've been getting asked throughout the whole year. Oh, and by the way, I think I found another solution here. I'm digging into this one. We're going to figure it out, guys. So the question is this comes from K, just the letter K. I have a hydrangea that's bloomed beautifully for me for the last three years. Big, beautiful, bountiful flowers. Sounds wonderful, K. This year it's beautifully green and lush, but two flowers all year, too. Now I've owned my house for three and a half years. This plant is well established. The house was built in 56, so I have to imagine it's been here for a while. It probably has been. I have minimally pruned it because I know they grow on old wood. All right, she's already got that established. It's been fed and cared for and nothing has changed from last year to this year. Nothing's changed. She's seen plenty of blooms in the past, but now all of a sudden she's getting no blooms. I'm starting to see some hints here. So why? I can't believe it's not the right hydrangea for my zone. Well, we know it's the right hydrangea. You've seen it bloom a bunch. It's been here for years and it's flowered abundantly the last three seasons. Any help is appreciated. All right, I love this question because I've been getting it a lot and it's been boggling my mind, driving me nuts. And I finally got this again and I thought, you know what, I gotta hit this head on. We gotta answer this, we gotta solve this problem because everybody is not having the same problem that I addressed in that last video. And so I started looking at this and I started thinking, you know, first of all, I got to say, guys, sometimes it's hard for me to answer the questions because people will come on and they'll ask me a question, but I only get little bits and pieces. And I, it's hard for me to answer it 100 percent if I'm not in your zone. I'm not familiar with your weather. I'm not familiar with how you've cared for your plants for the last couple of years. I don't know exactly what plant it is. It's there's so many unknown variables on my end. But I try to take a little clues in what you're saying and figure out your problem. But I did that here. I looked through this thing and I'm trying to find clues and I think I figured it out. Kay, I think I figured out your problem. Well, like in the last video, it's not your problem, it's the hydrangea's problem, but it's kind of all of our problem because we can't enjoy your flowers. The first clue was this. This year it's beautifully green and lush but only two flowers. Beautifully green and lush. All right. I'll tell you why that's a clue in a second here. The second clue is it's been fed and cared for. Okay. That's the second clue. Now, that's all I know from this letter basically. So I'm going to try and figure this out right now. And here is another reason why your hydrangea isn't blooming. We know you got the right hydrangea, but it's still not blooming. Now you said you fed and cared for it. What does that mean? What type of fertilizer did you put on that hydrangea? And how frequently? Was it liquid? Was it slow release? I don't know. But you also said that it's got green and lush, beautiful growth. Okay, so these two clues right here are telling me one thing. Plants do different things based on the type of soil that they're in. If they're in soil that is at the right pH for that plant, then they will be able to absorb all the nutrients. The nutrients will be able to fully release. Oh, there goes my note. And the plant will be able to do everything it's supposed to do put on its green vegetative growth early on and then begin flowering as the summer comes on and do its thing as the season progresses. However, 
plants don't do as well when the soil pH is outside of that range. So if your soil is too acidic, it won't be able to absorb certain nutrients that it needs maybe to flower. If your soil is too alkaline, which I'm guessing it's not, and the reason I'm guessing it's not is because you're getting the beautiful lush green growth, which usually tells me it's a little bit more on the acidic end and you're fertilizing it. I wonder if you're fertilizing with too much nitrogen. So if you were to over fertilize with nitrogen, your soil will get even more acidic, generally speaking, and your plant wouldn't be able to absorb as much nutrition that it needs for flower growth and that extra nitrogen would also promote a ton of lush green vegetative growth but when your plant is in really high vegetative growth it just doesn't do as well at producing blooms and so what you really need is a more balanced soil that can do what it needs to do throughout the season so what do I think? I think you're over fertilizing. I think that your pH is probably a little low. And I think your plant is in a state of hardcore vegetative growth, putting on tons of beautiful green leaves and shoots, but no blooms. And I think that's what the problem is, based on what I'm hearing from your note here. So what's the solution? Let's talk about that now. Well, if the problem is too much nitrogen, just stop feeding your plant. And here's the thing. Most vegetable plants like in a garden they can take lower acidity but generally like it a little bit closer to seven on the pH scale most of them I mean there's a range and somebody's gonna come on here and say oh you're wrong Mike but the truth is most of them do better a little closer to seven six and seven somewhere in that range and that's why a lot of people come in they plow up their fields they add lime to them it it, it takes away a lot of the acidity in the soil when it comes to landscape plants like hydrangeas, they prefer a more acidic environment. And the way you can get that without adding tons of nitrogen to your soil is to just mulch. That's it, just simply mulch. You don't need to be adding synthesized chemical fertilizers to your landscape plants once they're established. It sounds like these plants have been there for a while now. So if I were you, I wouldn't worry about it. I wouldn't dig them up. All I would do is I would just come back, put some nice compost around them or, you know, steer manure, something organic that's going to break down slowly over time. That's going to feed the microbes in the soil so that they can then make the soil the right acidity that it needs to be. And then come back over that and just put a thick layer of bark or some type of mulch, something that's going to break down slowly over time. Lots of carbon and it will break down slowly, very slowly over time, and it will also promote fungal growth throughout the soil, which will promote the mycorrhizal relationship between the fungus and the plants, and all of this will begin working in harmony and bring the pH of the soil right in the range it needs to be in, somewhere between five and six probably. And then the soil pH will unlock nutrients that the plant couldn't get because things were out of whack, and you'll have the right nutrients to go into flower, the right pH to go into flower, and your plant will love you so much more and bloom beautifully and bountifully. That's it, guys. I dug into this one pretty deep, and I really think that's the problem. The people who solved the problem of is this the right hydrangea for their area, whether it blooms on old wood or new wood, we addressed that in the last video. Those people who have figured that one out and still have blooming problems, this is the next step. This is the next step to getting your hydrangeas to bloom. Quit fertilizing them, mulch the heck out of them, wait a year or two for the soil to just correct itself, and you're gonna get those blooms again. I guarantee it. And if you don't, and you come back with more questions about this, I'm gonna be stumped again, I'm gonna have to dig deeper. But for now, I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this video, and I want you to look at the last video. And hopefully, these two videos will solve your problem, guys. I hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.